Nnam the Kano in serious trouble after agreeing to negotiate with Tunubu. See what the lawyer said. Um, I don't want us to get troubled about um, Nam Dekano's decision to negotiate with Tunubu. In fact, it's the best. It's the best thing. And this is what's supposed to have happened for a very long time. If we have given in for this, Namdekano would have left detention. I bet you, he would have left detention. But be that as it may, it's not too late because everything is still working as planned, if you ask me. All right. So um, without wasting much of your time, my dear listeners, let us quickly hop into the content and see what is truly happening. This is today's news. Barrister Aloy H. Makor, the special counsel for Namdi Kano, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, has refuted media reports claiming that Kano sought negotiation with the Nigerian government regarding the terrorism charges against him. Some media outlets had reported that during a session at the Federal High Court in Abuja, Kano through a Jimako requested negotiations with the government. However, a Jimako labeled these reports as false, clarifying that the court had invoked Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act directing the Nigerian government and Kano to consider a reconciliation. Ijimako stated, the news titled Kano seeks negotiation with federal government is false and a deep fake news meant to twist an idea that was muted as an alternative to trial by the court and the parties. The truth is that the court directed the parties to consider the option of reconciliation which the law allows so my dear listeners you cannot see that it wasn't actually namdekan that demanded for this for this but the federal government were the one who demanded for this so um for those who have been troubled who has been worried who has been panicking Namdi Kano did not demand for this. The federal government are doing this for their own favor. I am telling you, they are doing this for their own favor. They know that already uh, they have an outstanding to pay. So, in the process of the negotiation, they would want to see how they can push away some of those outstandings which has been levied on them. By the Supreme Court to pay Nam the Kano for damages done. You get it. So it's something that they must pay. They must not escape it. They must. They must pay it. Because it is an error that they caused with their own ends. Okay. So my dear listeners out there listening, please don't forget to Leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.